Hey guys, if you're trying to play a game through the Epic Games library but you just see a message that says unavailable, then keep watching until the end, as in this video I'm going to share with you the best methods to fix this issue so you can get back to playing your favourite games. First thing you need to do is come to the start menu and search for the word run, click on the run icon, and inside of here you want to type in percentage sign local app data percentage sign and then hit enter. Scroll down to find the Epic Games launcher folder, inside of here Come into saved, and then you should see one or multiple web cache folders. All you need to do is select all of the web cache folders, and then right click and come over to the trash icon to delete it. Don't worry about deleting these, as these are just temporary files, and are regenerated every single time you use the app. If you're getting this warning message here that's not letting you delete the folder, just make sure to close down Epic Games before trying this step. We can do that by coming to our task manager by pressing Control alt delete on the keyboard, and inside of the task manager you want to search for Epic. And then just make sure we've closed down any references to Epic Games. And then if we come back to the folder and try this again, the folder would delete. Once we've done that, we want to head over to the start menu and you want to search for Recycle Bin. Tap on the Recycle Bin and you want to just delete the web cache out of here by selecting it and coming to Empty Recycle Bin. We can now head back over to the Epic Games library to see if the issue is solved. Another thing you can do if that's not fixed is to make sure you are running the game as administrator and disable full screen optimizations. Head to the desktop and locate the Epic Games launcher and right click and come into properties. Inside of the compatibility tab, make sure you have selected disable full screen optimizations and also run this program as administrator and then you can just press apply and OK to save the changes. Again, we can then load the Epic Games launcher to see if that's fixed the issue. If you've tried all of these steps and it's still not working, the last thing we can do is head to our Epic Games client, come into the profile icon in the top right here, underneath settings, and you want to scroll down to find edit vault cache location. Then we can just select edit vault cache location, and you want to hit the reset button. Once again, we can just press apply to save our changes. Then you want to come back out of here and head over to the library. And then finally, we just want to hit this refresh library icon up here. And now if we scroll down, your issue should be solved. If you still are experiencing problems, then please drop a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you. If this video did help you, please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.